<laughs> oh my gosh! I've reacted to medical scenes from The Family Guy, The Simpsons, and some video games on Gameology. And I've been getting an overwhelming response from you guys wanting to react to more TV shows. That's why today I'm reacting to some very over the top medical situations that occurred on the highly popular show Untold Stories of the ER. Not sure what that show is? Well, Untold Stories of the ER is a fast paced medical series that blends reenactments of real emergency room cases with comments by the actual physicians and nurses involved in the procedures. I hear that patients even give their first person accounts as well of the situation and some even play themselves during the reenactments. Although I've never seen these clips, I've been told it's going to be really dramatic. Hey, maybe it will give you a small taste of what I see in the ER each and every day. But before we get into it, my name is Dr. Jordan Wagner. I'm an ER doc that deals with every medical situation you could think of. Gunshot wounds, COVID, broken hips, firework mishaps. I created this channel to answer the medical questions that I get from people every single day. If you find this video helpful, please smack that subscribe button and turn your bell notifications on. That way you learn when I post a new video. All right, ready to watch some dramatic medical clips? Let's react to untold stories of the ER. <laughs> we'll need a CAT scan to figure out what's going on. As the lone physician in the ER. Hold on here, first thing, multiple broken ribs. That chest x-ray looked pretty normal. Just saying. Bose has just intubated a man crushed by a cow that defecated on What? Him. No way. We do see crazy things like that where a man was crushed, but then the cow defecated on him. Just brush it away, put some gloves on, get to work. What's that horrible stench? What? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, this is very common. This woman has a stiletto shoe stuck in the side of her face, but it can puncture right through tissue. I've seen people with uh, scissors thrown at them, punctured into the skin. Many different things can happen, but this lady appears to be intoxicated. Let's get you taken care of first. That's quite an injury you have there. Definitely need to stabilize that before you come in, but in someone who's intoxicated, trying to convince them to do anything is pretty difficult. Pretty badly injured and pretty drunk. I'll need some lidocaine. Okay, good. He's gonna lidocaine it up, make sure it's it's anesthetized so the patient doesn't feel it. But the alcohol also will actually anesthetize your whole body, sort of thing. So obviously you saw somebody who's got a, a seat collar on their neck, just being crushed by a cow, and then also have to go to a patient who's got an impaled object into their face. You're running around the emergency department and all different types of injuries all at the same time. Pretty impressive. All right, a couple things to learn from this situation. Don't pull that out until you're at the emergency department and let a professional pull it out just in case it's hit a weird nerve or a vessel. This way the professionals are there. And if you're ever in a pinch, now you see that you can use a stiletto as an object to defend yourself in any situation in a pinch. So I was in a bit of a shock. Here she is, a baby is coming out of her. There's the head and she doesn't even know she's pregnant. Okay. But I don't have any time for questions right now. Come on, this actually has happened to me three times. This has happened to me where patients come in and said they didn't know they were pregnant and a baby is coming out. The father came rushing in when he heard the baby crying. What the? This is a young girl, patient's parent is there. Sometimes they just don't tell the truth, but some people also say that they feel like they just feel gas when they actually feel a baby kicking inside. I don't understand. But we only did it standing up. <laughs> you can't get pregnant like that. <laughs> the misunderstanding and the misinformation about intercourse. You can have sex in any position. A sperm meets an egg. Doesn't matter what position you're in, a baby can be made. The fact that this poor kid thought that a baby couldn't be made because they had intercourse standing up, I don't even know what to say to that. I had to bite my tongue. Oh my gosh, even the nurse had to bite her tongue in that situation. I told you that. My brother. Oh my gosh. Don't take advice from your older brother in those situations. The birds and the bees talk with this kid oh and explain that anytime a sperm and an egg get together, you can exactly. get 
The sperm and the egg make a baby. I hope people watching this understand, please use safe sexual practices. If you're not ready to have a baby, either abstain from sexual intercourse, use protection, or use birth control, and have an open conversation with your family member that you trust, or your parents, and your healthcare provider. Oh, we got a sheriff in the room. This happens all the time at the hospital I work at. Oh my gosh, what's going on? All right, we got a seat collar on, okay. The, that C collar, just so everybody's aware, C collar basically is to keep your cervical spine intact. If there's any injury, we need to put the C collar on in place and get imaging, make sure that there's no spinal cord injury, fractures, or ligamentous injuries that we sometimes have to check by an MRI. To have this degree of paralysis and sensory deficits, I, I would expect to see something. Um, oh. I want to check one more thing. Yeah. What's that? Follow my finger. <laughs> oh my gosh, he tricked him. So he was doing a neuro assessment and then he grabbed his junk and he moved everything. So this guy was totally faking. Uh, now he's pretty pissed off, but you know, I've actually seen a lot of people fake seizures and we definitely have to check different sensory things. We have to check motor movements all over the place. And sometimes people will fake, but doctors in general do not do that maneuver in the emergency department. You do not grab patients inappropriately in the crotch or anywhere that's not appropriate to another human being. A lot of commotion. Okay. What's wrong with him? What the? He can't talk. I don't know why this lady's smiling. It happens all the time. People come into the emergency department intoxicated all the time. But this guy definitely looks like he can't breathe. I know they say you can't talk. Getting somebody into the trauma room is just a, a huge room, usually always open, so you can get somebody in there. So what happened? I'm bobbing for fish, and so that's what you did. Bobbing for fish. Ah, okay. So he's gonna do some numbing spray to the to the nose, and then he's doing what's called a fiber optic. He's using a fiber optic camera down into the nose to see if the airway is swollen without trying to irritate the area. What? Holy cow, there's a fish stuck in the airway. That is amazing, but cool, and hopefully this is a real video. What? Oh my gosh, so he's using what's called the McGill forceps, which are specific forceps on an angle to help get into the airway to pull this fish out. What? This is crazy. Sometimes you can actually get the fish to stop moving with lidocaine. So he's able to breathe because it's stuck in his esophagus, but it's sitting next to his airway, right next to the trachea. So you gotta call the specialist, which is a ear, nose, and throat doctor, or otolaryngologist. What's this about a fish? About their large wow. Tissue. It's got barb. Wow. They're toxic. <laughs> I love when they say you gotta get him to the OR stat. We just say you gotta get him to the OR. Let's go, let's move. Okay, now it's back and quiet again. Oh my gosh. Once, so they were able to get it out without any complications in the operating room. They were able to sedate the patient, control the situation a lot better, where the airway is not spasming, the patient's not fighting, and they were able just to pull it out. But this is crazy. I want to see what the fish looks like. It's still alive. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh my gosh, there's funny surgeons up to the operating room. Note to self, no bobbing for catfish. I don't think you should be bobbing for any kind of fish. All right, those clips were a little over the top and I'm not so sure things went down exactly how they were depicted. Definitely seemed like a little bit of a dramatic show for me. However, it was super fun and amusing to comment on. It gives you a small taste of the craziness I see every day in the ER. Great job to the creator and the rest of the team who created the show. Super entertaining to watch. Do you have a favorite show that features medical situations that you want me to react to? Let me know which show or episode in the comments below. And if you want to see me react to video games, check me out on the Experts React series on Gameology. I'll have the link below. And as always, make sure you subscribe if you want to see more fun videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.